Hello, this is Mark Ellard. I'm doing a series of, of tutorials on how to build applications for the BlackBerry Playbook. I'm very excited about this, this device, and one of the things that I was most excited is that they decided to use Adobe Air as the main platform for developing applications for the launch of the Playbook. Um, so you're going to need to go over to BlackBerry's Air Development Resources site, and they have a list, a large list here of, of of uh, steps on how to develop applications. But the first thing you're going to need is the right software. So I would first uh, suggest that you go and download Flash Builder 4.5 um, for whatever platform you require. And um, that'll take you to Adobe's site. You can download the trial version. Uh, I believe it's a 60 day trial. And then purchase it when, when you're ready to purchase it. You can also download the Adobe Creative Suite 5.5, which includes Flash Builder 4.5. Uh, you can download it individually or, or download it as, uh, with, the, with the entire Creative Suite. It's up to you. But uh, go ahead and download it, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step, which is installing. All right. Now, while I'm waiting for Flash Builder 4.5 to download, I might as well go out and grab the other software I'm going to require. So, you're going to need the SDK for the BlackBerry Playbook, which you actually install on top of Flash Builder 4.5. So go ahead and uh, download that. And then in order to run applications, um, to debug them and test them on your computer, you're going to need the, to run the simulator. Now, the, the simulator is part of the, uh, the SDK, um, but the simulator does require VMware. VMware Fusion on Mac or the VMware Player on Windows, which is free, but unfortunately on the Mac it costs, uh, I believe, around $60 or $70. But uh, so you're going to need to download that um, in order to run the simulator. So jump over to, to VMware's website and download the trial version for that, which uh, you can use it for a little while and pay for it later. But uh, yeah, download that and we'll move on to the next step. All right, well hopefully you're still with me after downloading about a gigabyte of, of software. So the next step now is to install Flash Builder 4.5 by just double clicking the install package here and uh, just following the on-screen instructions. All right, so Accept the terms if you agree with them, which, you know, of course I read those. For now, you can install this as a trial, so don't worry about entering a serial number unless you have one. Select your, your language and uh, continue on. Just, I just go with the default settings here. All right, and uh, let it go through the process of uh, installing. Now it's a pretty large installation, so just sit back and grab yourself a Diet Coke and come back in a little bit. All right, now the Flash Builder has been installed. It will be in your application directory where all your applications are typically installed. We'll just launch it up, make sure we're, uh, we're all set. So you'll be presented with uh, the option to start your trial. So just go ahead and start that up. And you can always skip this step. I'm, I'm not even sure why they have this. All right, so here you are with the, with the initial screen for Flash Builder. So just to show you really quick, when you create a new project, a new mobile project, uh, I just wanted just to, just to show you but initially, you don't have the option for BlackBerry Playbook. Adobe Flash Builder 4.5 just comes with Apple iOS support and Google Android support. So we need to install that uh, the SDK for BlackBerry Playbook on top of Flash Builder for that to show up. So we'll just cancel this and we'll exit out of Flash Builder and, and, and install that. All right, so now I'm just I'm going to install the uh, BlackBerry Tablet SDK on top of Flash Builder 4.5, which is in my download directory from when I downloaded it from BlackBerry's website. I 
Okay, so we'll just skip past this introductory screen and accept the terms of the agreement. And we're, it's going to ask us if we want to install it on top of Flash Builder 4.5, and we do, so we'll say yes and next. And now it'll ask us where to install it. So we'll, we'll choose the location of Flash Builder 4.5. So we'll need to go to our Applications directory and choose Flash Builder 4.5. Click Next. And it'll ask us to make sure we want to install an existing folder of Air 2.5. Flash Builder 4.5 already has Air 2.5 or higher. It actually has Air 2.6. So we'll say next and install. And there we go. Let it install. All right, so once it's, it's done installing, we can close out of the installer. And uh, let's jump over to our Flash Builder 4.5 installation in the Applications directory and just verify that it actually installed the SDK. Uh, so we'll open up the SDKs folder, and there we go. Tablet, BlackBerry Tablet SDK 1.0.1 .1, uh, is there. So that's good. We can go back and uh, launch Adobe Flash Builder 4.5 and uh, make sure that it has the BlackBerry playbook option. So here we are again uh, with, the, with the initial screen. We'll continue our trial because we will ask you that every time you start uh, Flash Builder 4.5. We'll skip this step and we'll create a new mobile project. File, uh, new, and we'll go with an ActionScript mobile project. Hello world application, uh, click next, and there we go. We now have an option for BlackBerry Tablet OS. So with this, with this view, we can go through and set specific permissions for, for the different platforms. They all, they all handle things slightly different as far as how they go about allowing you to use things like geolocation or user identification information. So we can just go through and open up the BlackBerry Tablet OS options here just so you can see the different permissions. So when, when a user launches their application on the, on the device, it'll then ask them, are you sure you want to allow this application to access your shared data, for example? So um, we don't need to select any of these right now, but just so you know, uh, this is where you can, you can select that stuff initially. So I'm going to go ahead, I mean, we can do it for only BlackBerry Tablet OS, but I, I, I like to leave these other options on just in case I ever decide to go back and deploy my application to uh, Apple iOS or Google Android. So we'll just, uh, we'll just leave these default settings. We'll go full screen. We'll automatically reload. So it doesn't matter. Just, just for our Hello World application, these settings are fine. And we'll move on, and here we are. I'm going to go in, in greater detail in the next video uh, as far as what libraries to include with your application and, and how to configure that. But right now, we'll just, we'll just go with the default, just so we can get up and running here. Click Finish, and it will create your, your application settings for you automatically and it should jump into your your main class which is my hello world class it automatically throws in uh, code here to support full screen and so that your application will will not scale but you know it'll be everything will be visible depending on even if the screen size changes it'll it'll still register in the same location. So, but we, we can play around with that. I mean, when you get into it, you can change that to behave how you, how you want, but uh, it, it is important to actually go and, and test that on your device and, and make sure it is, it looks the way you want it to look. All right. So before I go into actually running the application, 
I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually going to include that in the next video because there's, there's actually some things you need to do to, to get this to work with Flash Builder 4.5. One of the main issues is that Flash Builder 4.5 actually uses Air 2.6 currently, and the BlackBerry Tablet OS uses Air 2.5. So there's an incompatibility with the versions of, of Air. So we're going to have to, uh, there's some certain steps we have to take to, to work around that. So in the next video, I'll go into detail on how to do that. So the next step will be to install VMware.